Okay. Hi guys. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do a lesson with you. But first, before I do, I wanted to show you this is our new unit for the month. Okay, this is for the month of December. It's our holiday unit. Okay. And it is the focus is the gift of giving. So it's about giving, like this person here is giving something to somebody else. It looks like a box or a square of some kind, maybe a present. And our level book, which is what we're going to look at right now, is called Give, Giving a Try. Okay, and our chapter book for the month is a holiday service project. Okay, and these are our standards, and you can click on it and read the standards. And it's about giving. In this unit, students learn about the gift of giving. We're going to learn about the gift of giving and how nice it is to give. And also, we're going to talk about um, being a good volunteer, having empathy. Okay, our chapter is about a service project. Okay, so we'll be talking about what service projects are. And these are our vocabulary words. They're kind of small here, but let me show you how to find this focus wall. So it's here on our class tag page, pinned to the top of the page, December 2020 holiday focus wall. And it's in the Google Drive file that you should have access to. Let me know if you have any trouble accessing it. Okay, so I'm gonna look at our vocabulary words first. Okay, here's the ones for the month. Care. Care, okay. So what does care mean? To love or to look after someone. Okay, to love or look after somebody. Like, probably you have a lot of people who care about you, family, friends, okay. People who take care of you and look after you. Okay, that's care, okay. And then the next word. Community. The community, and we see people, and we see some buildings. A place where a group of people live and work together in one area. Okay, community is a place where people in the group live or work together in one area. Donate. Okay, donate. To give for a good cause or reason. To give for a good cause or reason. So donating, and there's a lot of different things you can donate. You can donate items. Like right now is, um, a really good time to talk about donating because um, a lot of donating goes on this month because it's the holidays. So usually people want to um, collect or donate more in the holidays for people who are in need because it's a hard time for them. Okay, so maybe they you can donate toys, or you can donate gifts, money, food. There's lots of different things you can donate okay, to people that are in need of it. They don't have as much as you do, okay? And the next word? Feel. Feeling, and we have our picture to illustrate feel is faces. We have a sad face and a happy face. To have an emotion. Feel is to have an emotion, okay? So these are emotions, being sad or being happy. But there's a lot of different kinds of emotions, feeling grateful, feeling hurt, feeling, there's so many different kinds of emotions, scared, tired, I mean, that's not kind of emotion, it's just a feeling though, feelings, there's a lot of different kinds of feelings, okay? Give. Give, see these people are giving. To hand over without expecting something in return. Okay, to hand over something without giving something in return. So giving somebody a gift is a good example, but also maybe giving somebody, maybe somebody sees something of yours that they like and you want to be nice. So you give it to them. Say, oh, here, you can have this. Or you can have my toy. I'm not using it anymore. Or you like it so much. I'll give it to you because I want to be nice. I want to be kind. Okay, the next word. Help. Okay, help, like giving somebody a helping hand. To make something easier. So this person is helping the other person get up off the ground. Maybe they fell or maybe they just have a hard time getting up. Some people, when you get older, you have a hard time getting up. <laughs> okay, the next word. Holiday. Okay, what are these holidays, I wonder? A special day or a time that is more important to a group of people and a reason for celebration. Special days or times that are important to people and reason to celebrate. 
So holidays include Easter, of course, Christmas, there's a Christmas tree, the cornucopia, what holiday does that represent? Thanksgiving, being grateful for all the food and things we have access to. Okay, Thanksgiving. We have a lot of different holidays in this country, in our culture. Okay, we talk, we have Veterans Day, we have Memorial Day, we have Fourth of July. Okay, those are a lot of different holidays. And then certain groups have holidays that are special to them. Um, for example, Jewish people have Hanukkah. So in December, instead of celebrating Christmas, they celebrate Hanukkah. Okay, and those are that's a time of year it's not one day it's usually eight days so it's a time in december when hanukkah starts and let me see if it started it begins on the 10th the 10th and it's eight days i believe so that's a holiday for an, another group of people okay our next word need need a thing a person can't live without okay a need is something someone can't live without so we have picture of food we all need food we can't live without food shelter basic need yeah these are basic needs food shelter clothing we all need that especially now that it's cold service project okay what's the service project a plan of action to give back to the community okay and we'll talk more about it this month but service projects could be things like going to the park and helping clean up the trash in the park okay a lot of different ways to to provide service volunteer okay a volunteer to offer your time to help others without pay okay so service projects usually involve volunteering that means working without pay you're you're helping others and you're not getting paid for it okay so let's read our story Give Giving a Try, Level A, by Sarah Moore, illustrated by Amanda Coleman. Okay, Give Giving a Try. And there's some hands that are giving or holding something. It says the word give, tiles that say the word give. Okay, here we have a girl, she's holding a present. There are many ways to give. And she also looks very happy giving a present. There are many ways to give. Here's somebody who looks very happy. He's smiling. You can give a smile. Okay, and giving a smile is a nice thing to give because maybe smiling at people makes other people feel happy. Like, do you feel happy seeing him? I do because he looks happy. Okay, he looks friendly and happy. Okay, there's somebody giving an elbow bump. You can give an elbow bump. Okay, so there's a lot of different ways to greet people that are nice. You can wave at them. And before, people used to shake hands or give fist bumps. But right now, because of the viruses going around, we don't want to shake hands. We don't want to hug. Unfortunately, we can't do that right now because it's not safe. But you can give an elbow bump or just give a, hey, you know, high five might be too much contact on the hand. You don't want to transfer germs, but maybe a wave, a smile, a hello, or an elbow bump is a nice gesture. You can give a card. Okay, sending a card to somebody is a good way to tell them you care and to just be nice. It says you are awesome. That's something nice to tell somebody that would make them feel good. You can give food. Okay, so these are people that are putting food in a donation box and all every year, probably year round, people give food. Right now, maybe people are not collecting as much actual food because they want it to be safe and sanitary. Maybe a lot of people are connect, collecting um, money, more money so they can buy food for food banks and to distribute food. I know that I give money every month to the food bank, the Central Valley Food Bank, okay? And that they, they collect food like this to give to people that are in need and that are hungry. You can give money. Okay, so you can give money. You can even collect money. You can get a jar and say, I'm collecting. Well, maybe not now. You don't want to. You don't want to go out too much and come in contact with a lot of people, but you know, people sometimes will go around with a jar or put a jar out and say, we're collecting money for the, for hungry people or homeless people. 
Okay, so you can donate to different various good causes. You can give time. Okay, this looks like a group of kids, maybe high school kids, and it looks like they have rubber gloves on and casual clothes and trash bags. They look like they're giving their time maybe to help clean up in their community. You can give to help others. Okay, you can help others. So there is a girl that's helping an elderly lady, okay, because elderly people need a lot of help. They maybe need to take your arm or your hand so they don't fall. So that's a good way to help. The end. Okay, and then you can search for some of our vocabulary words. Do you see any of our vocabulary words? I see one. Give. Give, okay. And there's another one. Care. Okay. So maybe ask your family members or whoever's helping you at home to help you or to quiz you and ask you to find words. And right now, let's go ahead and do our questions. Okay. So, uh, so you can pause the video and answer the questions at home and then resume the video and watch me answer them. What is this book about? Okay, so number one, what is the book about? What is this book we just read about? Is it about singing, giving, or eating? Is it about singing? Singing. Is it about giving? Giving. I'll give giving a try. So giving. Number two. What can you give to? What can you give to your community? Money or clouds? Maybe you can give back to your community. Community. Yes. And there's a lot of different ways you can give to your community. You can give money. You can give food. You can give your time to help others. Okay. And three. What can you give that feeds others? What can you give that feeds others? Cards, do cards feed others? Food or toys? You think cards? Cards. No, cards are a nice thing to give somebody, but it doesn't feed them. Food. Food feeds them. Okay, number four. What does giving do for others? Okay, what does giving do for others? Does it hurt them, help them, or make them sleepy? Does it hurt them? Hurts them. Does it help them? Helps them. Yes. And five. How can giving make you feel? How does giving make you feel? Does it make you feel sad? Probably not. Does it make you feel hungry? I don't know. Maybe if you give all your food. Or does it make you feel good? Okay. Let's see. Sad, hungry, or good. Sad. Sad. Hungry. Good. Good, yes. Okay. So that is our lesson for today. And we will, for the students that are going to be here tomorrow, we'll probably talk more about it. Um, and I have a really cute, nice video that really shows, you know, how, how good it is to give and how it can actually make you happier too. So we'll do that tomorrow. But for now, I'm going to go. I'll see you later. Bye.